Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about day one. I want to tell you how inserting HTML can be really helpful or useful if you are dealing with different types of media. So let me just tell you really quickly. This is a bit of a nerdy video, I think, because I will be talking a little bit about HTML code. So the first and most obvious way to deal with this feature of inserting HTML, maybe you will think like, oh, maybe I can uh, copy websites or uh, blog posts or something like that. But I think that that was not the intention of the developers, at least not with this application, with something like a uh, note taken application. Yeah, that, that would be maybe more useful. But for day one, which is for journaling, the way that I use HTML is for bringing media that I find on the internet that I would like to include into one of my journals or one of my entries. For example, one very common feature would be like to find a YouTube video that I really like or that I watched and that I learned something. This, we can copy the URL, paste it into day one and it, oh, what's this? And it appears like this. Another way that you could also insert a different kind of media would be, for example, images. And here I already wrote a little bit of code to pull two images from my website. And it will appear like this. The cool thing is that you can select here the images inside the HTML box and paste them outside. And that way you already have your images that you brought from online into the application itself. This is the way that I used for bringing one entire blog that I was keeping since 2011, full of memories and stuff like that, into day one by copying the HTML, pasting here, and then copying the images and then pasting them outside of the HTML box. Let me show you the two things that I really use this for, and that is for video and audio. And yes, you can insert them directly into the application, but in the case of video and audio, normally these are pretty big files. And with Dropbox, you have the option of just synchronizing some folders locally. So some folders will be only on the cloud and some folders are the ones that are, you know, synchronizing with my Dropbox folder in my hard drive. And the big files like video and all that, I just leave them online. Let me show you, I will go to the Dropbox site. And here I have the a video that of a song that I made a while back. I will copy the link. I'll copy this. Now by clicking this link, it will send me to a patient Dropbox that has a player and some features that I don't really need. To be able to get to the file only so that I can stream it, you have to change this. DL equals one. And then here you change www by DL. You change that. And that's it. You get access to the file directly. I think it's a very cool little hack or tip. This is a code that I wrote for video. Feel free to copy. And that's it. I go back into day one. And the video that is on my Dropbox appears here beautifully. And we can do the same with audio files. Let me go back to my, here's a voice memos. Let's find one of my grandfather singing, copy link. Again, I have the URL. I change the DL equals to one. And here at the beginning, I come back and I change DL. I replace www with DL. And this is the code again. Then I just copy this code and let's go into day one I paste it. And that's it. Uh, again, one audio file that will be that will be streaming directly from Dropbox. I think these two cases for video and for audio is something that I use more often. And uh, I don't know, I mean, I really like the way that it shows and I know that it's that I have total control over the files. And whenever I put something like this, I still include here Dropbox link 
so that whenever I'm searching for my entries, I can always just put Dropbox link and my entry will appear whenever I inserted something in this way in case that I have to change the URL or I decide to erase it or something like that. This is something that maybe not everybody will use, but if you are into saving space or privacy or I don't know, just trying to be a little bit more in control over the media that you insert in your day one entries, just maybe this is for you. So if you use the application in any other way that you feel like it's unique or that nobody else does it, or if you know a secret or another hack, I would love to hear from you. The same if you have any question that I can help you, just let me know and I will do my best to share an answer with you. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you soon.